Thank you everyone for uh, joining. Uh, super excited to host here the, uh, the DoorDash team as well. Brian here is uh, from the DoorDash Drive team. And, um, you know, I'll, the, basically what we plan for this meeting is to have a, you know, a brief storytelling about DoorDash Drive about how one of our beta tester used uh, DoorDash, the DoorDash integration, and listen from uh, Frankie uh, about his experience. And then we'll have any FAQs from anyone that want to share their thinking, their questions about their, you know, uh, about their business, if it's a good fit, how a mobile app with DoorDash integration can help them. So we'll have an open FAQ. You can like type in anything in the um, in the chat, and we'll take uh, questions by Brian, by Frankie, by me. So let's let's start it. Thank you so much for attending, everyone. And Brian, you can start. Cool. Thanks, Roy. Uh, happy to be here. Thanks for inviting us. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, like Roy said, um, I'm just going to do a quick introduction of myself and and DoorDash Drive for those who may not be familiar with the the service that we provide, um, and then maybe just share a couple of uh, stories of how how DoorDash is helping restaurants uh, uh, be successful with delivery. Um, so for myself, I'm a senior manager here on the DoorDash Drive team. Uh, the team that I manage. Uh, works directly with companies like Orta uh, to establish integrations that allow uh, restaurants uh, to submit requests uh, to deliver uh, items uh, from point A to point B using our service. Uh, so I have a team of of uh, four here, and uh, and we do integrations. That's that's what we're here for. Um, uh, for those who may not be familiar with DoorDash Drive. Um, uh, we're, a, we're, we're part of the broader DoorDash ecosystem, uh, but separate from the DoorDash marketplace that you might be, uh, familiar with, uh, where you log into an app, um, and, and see DoorDash branding and, and choose your menu items. Uh, DoorDash drive is a white label service, uh, that allows you as a restaurant owners or restaurant tours to get access to our delivery fleet, uh, but maintain control of. Uh, your branding and and your and your direct interface with the customer. Um, so customers order from your website, um, and interact with your website, uh, and the integration that my team has built with Roy's team uh, just sends a request for us to dispatch a driver to pick up that customer's order and drop it off with them. Um, DoorDash Drive and DoorDash Marketplace use the same fleet. Uh, of drivers, a given driver doesn't know uh, if they're doing a drive order or a marketplace order. Um, but that means that uh, we operate in the same locations. So wherever marketplace is available, DoorDash Drive is available, um, uh, among other things. Um, DoorDash Drive actually started out as a, a catering focused product, um, trying to leverage our fleet um, for companies, uh, restaurant chains that needed uh, better solutions for catering um, and eventually evolved uh, to a place where uh, we're working with most of the top 100 um, uh, restaurant chains in, in the U.S. Uh, and have started expanding into Canada, Australia, and other regions. Um, and now uh, also expanding into other verticals like uh, grocery, convenience, alcohol, etc., um, and really the name of the game for DoorDash is um, enable anybody to use our fleet uh, to deliver anything from point A to point B, as long as you're following the law, um, and, uh, and really make it so that you as a restaurant operator or a restaurant owner uh, can, can offer delivery, um, but maintain the control of your, of your brand and, and how you interact with your customers. Um, you might be familiar with DoorDash Marketplace fee structures being commission-based, right? So the, the value of the order uh, is influential to the delivery fee. On DoorDash Drive, <clears throat> the delivery fee is flat. Uh, we charge a flat fee uh, to get your, your delivery from point A to point B. The value of the order um, 
generally is not impactful. The only caveat to that is uh, if we're talking about catering size deliveries, uh, where we have to uh, dispatch uh, a more senior driver. Um, but if you are doing a $10 order or a $100 order, the fee will be the same on DoorDash Drive. It's flat. From the perspective of the integration, the integration is quite simple. Um, uh, you as a restaurant, like I said before, will maintain and keep control of the ordering experience. So customers are going to your website. Um, if customers want to pick delivery, uh, most times they'll be prompted to enter their address first. Uh, it's at that stage that the first uh, integration event occurs. Um, and during that integration event, uh, DoorDash is checking if we can do the delivery. Uh, i.e. it's not too far away or, or there's some other uh, factor that prohibits us from doing the delivery. Um, assuming that we can do the delivery, then the customer is permitted to pick their menu items and proceed with their, their order. Uh, and then upon checkout, um, uh, we get a delivery request that says, basically, I want you to, uh, this is like you, the restaurant, saying I want to, and this all happens automatically, but send a dasher to this address at this time um to deliver at this address um and then any instructions uh for example if you want it to only be in a car as opposed to a bike or walking um and then uh, doordash will send a confirmation back saying yep we'll be there yep and we try to make the integration very very simple um uh, to make it as simple as possible for you as a restaurant owner or operator to use it um, and then as well for Roy and the, and the Orta team to develop against it. Roy, anything else or Frankie, anything else that you think would be worth covering here? Yeah, definitely. We have some already some questions. So what I suggest is that we'll keep the, the questions for later. Uh, I want to start uh, yeah, the, the discussion with Frankie and then once we you know, the, as after the, 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 the meeting will go, we'll have more questions from others. So, yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for attending. I really appreciate your time here. Yeah, of course. Um, and, uh, you know, you were one of the beta testers of the DoorDash integration. So I thank you twice today uh, for being a, the beta tester and for attending this one. Uh, could you tell me about Blended Juice Bar and describe a little bit about your background in a brief? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, we're here in Seattle. Um, I'm one of the owners of Blended Juice and Coffee Bar. We kind of do a variety of different things, but like focusing on really good coffee, smoothies, um, some like healthy bites, salads, toasts, um, just a little bit of variety. Uh, we've been here... It's funny is we were slated to open a week before the pandemic started and then you know there were other plans for for the us and abroad so we you know we're fortunate enough to survive uh past it and now we're going on a full year of of being open here in seattle so right in the heart of seattle right next to the what well, once was key arena right next to the space Studio. if you guys are familiar with any geographic location there so yeah, blessed to be here. Awesome. Thank you. And uh, when exactly did you uh, decide to build your own mobile app? And, you know, why did you add this feature to, to your, to Blended? Yeah, so with, with the reopening, so we basically, brand new, brand new business, essentially, have been open for about a year. Um, but as we were opening, we were noticing, like, what, what the trends were, how do we get people to order outside of just like coming in and, you know, people's hesitation with, with, you know, being indoors, but it's, it was mostly because we saw like the digital trends. We know people like loved ordering online. Like if you go to your favorite, you know, restaurant or coffee shop, you know, most everybody has, has a way to order online. Um, so we just thought, you know, what's a better way than people, you know, have the ability to order on their phones. Um, so we were sought out different companies to, to do a mobile app and I don't know, came across the order as the, as the best fit for us. So just about a year with the app now. Got it. Perfect. Yeah. And how did your customer react when you told them about the app? Like, 
do, do you see a pattern with specific people with how they use the app or can you tell a little bit about the experience with it? Yeah, for sure. Um, it's, you know, it's, it's almost like, you know, introducing your customers to a, a new item or a new thing. Right. Um, but I think everyone's pretty standardized with like ordering apps. Um, so, you know, when I was starting to market it, you know, I did signage and emails and all that good stuff, but people like really started to like it. I think it's just an easy way for them to, to order. Um, and it's on their phone. So they feel comfortable like using their own phone and, and being able to place an order specific to them. Um, you know, I love interacting with customers on a daily basis, but I think it's just, it's just customers behaviors, like online ordering, Amazon ordering, like all that it's, it's very self-service pretty much um mm -hmm. so it's and it's been like a really nice community builder for us just because it gives people what our customers a chance to to talk about it like hey have you seen the deals on on the app today or how are the loyalty points going it's it's definitely a conversation starter for us um which is really nice because we have you know customers new customers daily and um the experience for my customers has been pretty well i think they, they've created, yeah, they've, you know, developed like a nice habit, even if it's something as small as like a coffee, um, you know, they'll order it on their phones just daily. So nice, healthy habit for them that we've, we've seen over the last year. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Since you were the, one of the DoorDash beta members, can you tell me what's your experience so far with the deliveries? Door, yeah, DoorDash has been pretty seamless for us. I'm not going to lie. Like Brian mentioned, it's a really easy integration. Um, it was as easy, and I can share this uh, if we want now or a little bit later. Um, sure. But I just you... opened my um, my dashboard on Order because when you have a your own dashboard to control your app and inventory and all that good stuff. Um, but you just integrate it like a plug-in, and you set your your you know your radius, your delivery fee. Um, and it actually shows you deliveries that come through and it allows you to track them. Um, we've had quite a bit of deliveries so far and the experience has been nice. Like the door, da the dashers come in super friendly, ask for the order. Um, it's, it's really, well, you know, I'd like to say for Seattle, it's a really quick, uh, turnaround time for dashers, which has been amazing. Cause I really didn't know what to expect, you know, and I <laughs> order DoorDash sometimes, sometimes it takes a little bit for me to get my food, but. I'm um, as, as a business, it's been pretty nice. Uh, I'd say that the longest time I've had to wait for a dasher to come pick up food, maybe is like seven or eight minutes. So not, not too bad at all. I mean, I think this is a very high traffic area, downtown Seattle. So that's, yeah, that's, that's really great. Uh, I, I want to understand together the, the unit economics and the ROI of, of using DoorDash because this is yeah. really like the, to go to the bottom of it. So, sure. the, you know, like just to make sure that, uh, you know, it, it makes sense to use the DoorDash in, in your app. So can you tell us a little bit about what's the average sale per visit for customers that enter the store and what is the average sell per delivery and does the cost like cover it and does it make sense yeah no definitely i think so i think what's great about the integration with the mobile app is you can um you set your minimum delivery fee so i obviously want to make it worth it for a dasher also for my business um so the cost per ticket normally is i'd say anywhere from like eight to eleven dollars just because i sell a lot of smoothies <laughs> So people will buy a smoothie on a daily basis. Um, but when people order on DoorDash through my branded app, it definitely, uh, I'd see the average ticket size over $30. Um, just because people will order, you know, a large amount, either if it's with their buddies or not. Um, it's definitely anywhere over $30. It's, I think the lowest delivery uh, order I've seen is $28 up until $60. So that's pretty awesome. great for my ROI. Yeah. Okay. So, and, and do you see peop, a pattern like people using the delivery, like, like more than, yeah, oh yeah. I get deliveries every day. I also see, uh, 
um, repeat customers using the same delivery just because you know they're used to it i guess they like the experience which is which is great feedback for us like we're doing something right the, the dasher the experience there is is doing something right so and it's tricky because i so i serve cold items right i serve smoothies and almost like ice cream but from here to to the drop off is like i said the the time frame is really quick so that really doesn't affect my my customer experience with the food. So that's that's been really good for us as well. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, uh, can you show us a little bit? How did you install the DoorDash add-on? You know, how do you get notified about it? Track the delivery is a little bit like more hands-on experience. Yeah, definitely. I'm just going to share my screen quickly just so you guys can kind of. So with my Orta account, I will get my own uh, dashboard. I'll just, here's my dashboard. So with the deliveries, basically I just headed to the marketplace, um, which has all of our plugins. Um, and then my DoorDash delivery plugin here, basically I set my minimum order and I wanted $20. So it's actually seven, seven miles, but I serve, uh, I set the service fee at 349 I think that's pretty reasonable in this area so basically that's what the customer pays and I think a lot of customers know that if you're paying if you're using delivery you're going to pay a little bit in in a fee I think that's the experience right you don't have to go get it um that's actually probably less in gas <laughs> in these days four dollars a gallon anyways but and it was I was able to kind of calculate you know what my cost per order would be uh you guys did a great job doing the little or simulator so it'll it'll show me like you know if it's a 60 dollar order how much am i getting paid how much um dasher gets paid the flat fee there and what's great and then pause me at any point if you have any questions but uh with the deliveries i get to track in real time the deliveries that come through so for example if i had a delivery come through um i can actually click on the portal and it'll take me to the delivery in real time and there are times where i'll just wait for a dasher to pick it up until i start making it just to make sure that the experience is really good for my customers so it warms you know the food's not too cold or whatnot um so that's been really great to be able to track the deliveries as they come in but i wanted to share my app just so you know the customer potential uh order members want to see what that looks like um what the delivery looks like so this is my app and basically it's really clean ui um add to car this is awesome checkout screen and i'll just kind of show you what your customer would would view um is here when you want delivery you just click on the delivery for your customers um Oh, see, it's letting me know that it's a $20 minimum fee, so you don't get any of those accidental orders. And I can edit my card if I needed. And then, yeah, somebody would just type in their, their address here. And then you can check out with Apple Pay or your credit card on file. Um, but yeah, that's how easy it is for customers to, to place their delivery or place a pickup order as well.